Okay, this is part two of trying to solve this particular BlackBerry problem, 0x080040FB3. And in all fairness, I should say that um, I've already done task number two. And task number three is only for IBM. And task number four it's fairly straightforward, so I'm going to synchronize the BlackBerry smartphone and I'm going to open the BlackBerry Desktop Manager, and hopefully it will load. And what am I supposed to be doing here? Check the button. Okay, double click and telesync and configure PIM. Click all except for the check button that is causing the error. Okay. The error is in the contact database, and hopefully it won't take too long to load. Okay, it didn't take that long, so I'm going to turn off everything that I don't need synchronized. Add in actions. Okay, let's see what. How do I configure that? IntelliSync. Okay, where's IntelliSync? Options. Connection options. No, I know that. Where's IntelliSync? Main menu. I don't see IntelliSync here, do you? Uh, so, synchronization. Yeah, we'll do synchronization here. Oh, sh okay. Well, it's gonna load up now. It's it's not in tasks, and it's not in memo pad, and it's not in calendar. It's in address book. So, click OK, and now let's go back to main menu and synchronize and synchronize. Synchronize and page progress. Now I'm going to let this do its thing and I'll come back to you. Okay, the last time the Blackberry borked on me was around this point. Uh, but I might be mistaken as I'm often mistaken. Okay, so it's uh, we're into about five minutes of it now, and it's still synchronizing. Uh, I th my CPU just kicked higher, so I think this might be where my problem might rest. We shall see here in a moment. Okay, so now it's done the comparison of the device address book and then did a comparison of the uh, address book on Outlook and you can see there's quite a few changes. Let me go ahead and accept. Uh, let's see what the details look like. Um, huh. It will be applied to Outlook. I don't know what can I delete those? No, I can't delete it. That looks suspicious, doesn't it? And there's plenty of blanks. That's fine. Uh, let's see about. Hmm. That's probably causing a problem. And let's see what else might cause a problem. Let's actually, we'll go to full name and scroll down on that one. Let's see if there's any more mysterious letters. Got a zero here. That's probably not very useful. Um, but that one right there, I'm going to guess. This name right here is probably throwing an error. Um, how would I find it? You know, it's something in Russian. P pretty something. 
So let's uh, run that and see what happens. We're going to accept the changes. And in the meantime, well, can I go to Outlook in the meantime? You can sure try. Let's go check out Outlook and see if I can find that troublemaker. In the meantime, we'll watch our device address book as it muscles its way through 4,365 messages, addresses, contacts. And again, this is all rooted in this problem right here, 0x80040 Foxtrot Bravo 3. And we are waiting for Outlook to think, contacts, and I should probably change the view to something phone list address cards. We'll go with uh, phone list. And let's see if it allows me to short, sort by name. Um, all right, there's a sus not terribly suspicious, but let's see what that one does. Oh, there's a bad one. And that's the one right there. I can delete that one. You know, I really don't like Outlook. Really, 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 really don't like Outlook. Uh, format, file, delete. And let's see if there's any other bad names in here. Um, unfortunately, sorting by name, um, gives me some mixed results so let's and it's really slow and you hear that that was outlook or the um, that was uh, right there so a record three four three five of four three six five borked with that error click OK and um, so that's the error now let's go see what the error report looks like